from the local station, the 10 o'clock news starts now. The principal of this school is off the job for now. It's the latest chapter of the controversy at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts over planned diversity meetings this week. Tonight's announcement comes just days after Principal Melanie Hammer sent out an email that upset many students and their parents. The school district says she's been temporarily relieved of her duties in order to get training. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avanye has been tracking the story since it first broke Tuesday. Eric, what happens now for Hammer? Yes, well, for the rest of the month, Hammer will not be calling the shots here at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts. Instead, she will be undergoing a mandatory diversity training at UNF before she's allowed to come back here and run the school. Melanie Hammer's picture and bio remains on the Douglas Anderson website. Despite Duval County school leaders temporarily relieving her of her duties as principal, the school district released a statement that says Hammer will undergo training to learn to build cross-cultural relationships with students, staff, and others in the community. Sophomore Zachary Kaiser spoke with us after the district made the announcement. I felt good about it, but I was also, like, I didn't expect it to happen. I honestly expected what happens every time something like this happens, and I, I like, be swept under the rug. Hammer's temporary removal comes after backlash from parents and students who were upset with this letter Hammer emailed to parents on Tuesday. The letter states there would be two scheduled racial diversity meetings, one for students of color to attend and the other for white students. The idea of segregating the students to allow them to address racial issues in a quote-unquote safe space was upsetting to many of the students and parents who called our newsroom to complain. Kaiser says racial tensions on campus have been high. There were actually quite a number of cases of white students saying or posting the N-word and then like people like reporting that to admin and admin not doing anything about it. The scheduled segregated meetings was eventually canceled once the school district got wind of Hammer's emailed letter to parents. Hammer apologized to students over the intercom system, but the damage was already done. And so by Friday, the district made the move to relieve Hammer of her principal duties while she undergoes training. I expected more to happen. I mean, it's I think it's great and I hope Miss Hammer can learn from, you know, what she did. Um, with her going to these trainings. As of right now, Assistant Principal Jay Franklin is now in charge of the day-to-day -day operations here at the school until Hammer is allowed to come back. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station. So, Eric, what exactly do we know about this program that Principal Hammer will be attending the next month? Yeah, so the, uh, uh, the program that she will be attending will be the um, University of North Florida Center for Urban Policy. I'm going to read a little statement here that was released from the school district. It says that uh, according, according to uh, that's entailed in all of this, uh, they will work to develop her skills and strategies for leading the Douglas Anderson community through this unique time in our history.